Intimacy is an important part of relationships. It's also important to find a healthy, normal balance. Ashlyn Mitchell joins me with more now. Hi, Ashlyn. Hello. We are talking about September. This is something you and your husband thought this is a healthy way to discover and talk about sex with each other. Oh yeah, and you know if you're if you follow me and you know our story, that sounds maybe a little bit ironic because I came from a place where I actually hated sex. It was this chore. It was something that wasn't healthy in my life, and so being able to look within and be curious of why that is really opened up this idea of let's just put it out there, let's talk about sex. One in our relationship first, but then opening up the discussion and being a facilitator for other people. How did you start doing this, and how did your husband feel about it? Oh, <laughs> he he thought it was great. Uh, he was probably a little shocked uh, when I started talking so openly about sexuality because you hadn't before. No, and I'm not a therapist. I'm not an expert in sex. I'm just a girl who went from not loving it to loving it. Because you were open with him and talked about your feelings. Yes. <laughs> so you start this process, and what happens?、Um, at first, I lost a lot of followers. They were, you know, hands up. What are we talking about here? But I talk about healthy lifestyle in general, so it fit it, for me. It seemed like it fit healthy sexuality in general. And so,、um, asking people, "Are you satisfied currently with your sex life?" Only 29% of my following said yes. And this is like. I do that. This is the third year, and then I do it once a month. So this is, you know, pretty average for people. The common answer to sex question is safe and open communication with your partner. Yes. Right. A lot. Yeah. Lots of how do I tell my partner this, and how do I get this need met? And really, the answer is to open that communication. And it's funny. We think, you know, we can get naked and have sex with someone, but yet、you、talking talk about, about it, it, it's like so uncomfortable. And sometimes becomes more of an argument than something that connects. Well, and I think sometimes you're afraid to talk about it,、yeah. but talking about it does make it where you're not afraid anymore. Right. It becomes this safe topic, and you feel more connection with your spouse.、Uh, layers of intimacy. Sex is the cherry on top, not the bottom layer of the cake.、Right. What does this mean? Yeah. So we learned this early on. We've been to therapy, lots of therapy for our marriage. And for us, we were focusing on that cherry on top, which I think is pretty common. And we learned that there's so many different layers, you know, like a cake. And so, emotional intimacy, the ability for us to share what we are really feeling, opened our world.、Um, basics like logistical intimacy, intimacy. So, hey, let's plan our week together. And hey, if I need some help here with the kids or with work. I know I can count on you as my partner. Well, you don't often think of that as intimacy, and it—it's so important. No, and you. The funny thing is, I'll ask moms. A lot of my followers are moms, and、I'll、say, "Okay, when you come home, your husband comes home from the end of the day. That's when they're most apt to feeling in the mood, but they're also tired, and they're worn down, both of them. And so that logistical intimacy, planning ahead, even saying, 'Hey, let's plan our sex life.'" That's a good thing because we're being more intentional and in talking about it. What are some comments you've found interesting from people who follow you that tell、oh. you maybe about their life? <laughs> maybe a little too much. Too much about their life, <laughs> <laughs> right? You're like, well, that's very intimate. You should probably discuss that with your partner. Yes, yes. Lots of disclaimers. Not a therapist. Not your partner. You know all these things. But I do get a lot of questions. That、um, am I the only one?、Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of them up right now on my stories. Am I the only one, or is, or is anyone else feeling this? And you answer these. I don't answer them. So all、people、I do. People just talk about them. So I allow people to submit questions anonymously. I know who they are. I can see their name, but I cross it off. I share it anonymously, and I let people anonymously answer. So everyone can feel safe. It's giving people an opportunity to give back and share what they've learned too. You have two daughters, yes, and you feel like this is important for them to learn about healthy sexuality as well. Oh yeah, they're nine and eleven. Nine and eleven, and I, at least my generation, a lot of the people that I've polled, when did you learn about sex, or did you even have a talk about sex? Like twenty percent said yes. Well, I loved the quote that you had at the beginning、um, before we started the <laughs> interview. It says, "Not talking about sex is talking about sex." Yes,、Meaning、we're sending it, messages. Right, we're not talking about those things, and that's not healthy. Right. So we talk about sex.、Um, we've made it this ongoing discussion. It's not this special event where we say, 
here's this one-time thing. It's there's so much more that goes into sex and pleasure and consent and talking about. My daughter uses consent all the time. I'm eating this cereal today because I have your consent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, You're raising them right. Okay, last question. What's your most common question you get? <sighs> Am I normal? Am I normal? They just want to mm -hmm. know if they're normal, and it turns out we're all normal. We're different, but we're normal. I love it, Ashlyn. How do people follow you so they can? get a little bit healthier with their sexuality. <laughs> yeah, it's over on Mama Bear Fitness on Instagram. And I actually saved all of September in four bubble highlights in oh, my Instagram. Fabulous. So you can go back. If you missed it, just come and go through them. I call my mom Mama Bear. So <laughs> lo love to have you on the show today, Ashlyn. Thank